In problem 8, you want to test if your county's employment population ratio is the same as the national employment population ratio. In other words, your county's proportion of workers who are employed equals the proportion of workers nationally who are employed. So that statement highlighted in blue is an hypothesis. P is the proportion in your county who are employed, and that equals the national employment rate of 0.63. So the alternative hypothesis is the proportion of people in your county is not equal to the employment rate nationally, which is 0.63. I'm going to complete the problem in Excel and once I've completed in Excel, I'm going to copy the appropriate numbers back into Cengage now. So we're going to copy the hypothesized employment to population ratio, 0.63. And then we're going to copy the number of the 413 people who are surveyed in your county and the number of them who are employed into Excel to calculate the p-bar, the sample proportion of people who are in your county's workforce. The alpha level is 0.1 or 10 percent. These numbers have all been pasted into Excel. So the sample size is 413. The number of people who, of them, who are employed is 247. So the p-bar is just the number of people in the sample who are employed, 247 in this case, divided by the size of the sample. So the p-bar sample proportion is 0 0.598. 0 0.63 is the hypothesized proportion. And so we calculate the variance of the variable of a proportion by multiplying 0 0.63 times 1 minus 0 0.63. the variance of the variable is 0 0.23310. Now this was a two-tailed test because the null hypothesis says the proportion of people in your county who are employed equals the proportion nationally who are employed, which is 0.63. So we're going to divide the alpha level by 2 because it's a two-tailed test. The z values are plus or minus because it's a two-tailed test. To get the Z critical values, we can get them out of the standard normal table or we can get them out of the infinity row of the T table. We get them out of the T table because the standard normal values are to two decimals in the standard normal table. They're to three decimals in the infinity row of the T table. So again, we go to my website and we can download this PDF distributions Again, we can get them out of the Z table or standard normal table, but we only get two decimal accuracy. So we go to the infinity row, column 0.05, because we divided the 10% significance by two. We go to column 0.05 of the T distribution table. We go all the way to the infinity row, and we see that the critical values are plus or minus 1.645. The point as for the difference between the population proportion and its hypothesized value is the point estimate of the population proportion for your county minus the hypothesized value of 0.63. The variance of the sample proportion is smaller than sigma squared because you divide the sigma squared by the sample size. The standard deviation of the sample proportion, or standard error of the proportion equals the square root of the variance we just calculated. The test statistic is the ratio of the difference, the point estimate of the difference, divided by the standard error of the proportion. All the values that are to be copied into SYNC now are to the six decimal places except for the critical value and the test statistic. 
The test statistic to four decimal places is negative 1.3443. The standard error to six decimal places is 0 0.023757. The point as point of the difference is negative 0 0.031937, which indicates um, that your employment rate is lower than the national average. The sample proportion is 0.598063. And the critical value is a plus or minus 1.645. To conclude in part G, we need to compare the test statistic to the two critical values, plus or minus 1.645. If the test statistic is in between the two critical values, which it is, then we say the difference is insignificant. And we have evidence in support of the null. Thus, the null hypothesis cannot be rejected. If we cannot reject the null, we cannot conclude that your county's employment rate is different from the national employment rate. Check my work. All of our answers are correct.